I came into the room, I, I noticed spread out everywhere <laughs> was my personal property. We didn't break into any room. Mr. Riccio brought us into that room. When I came into the room, I, I noticed spread out everywhere <laughs> was my personal property. You know, the only thing I saw that was on display that wasn't mine was some baseballs, and I made it clear to everybody, those are not mine. All I want is my property, and I, I think there's a tape of it. You hear me on at least three or four occasions say, I just want my property. They made it clear during the trial that I had no weapon. They didn't feel threatened by me, and I, from what you said, and, they, and that I didn't threaten them. It was the other two security guys that did that. And I'm not, I haven't made any excuses in the nine years that I've been here, and I'm not trying to make an excuse now. They were there because of me, you know. But uh, in no way, shape, or form uh, did I wish them any harm. You know, but uh, in, in no way, shape, or form, uh, I'm no danger to pull a gun on anybody. <laughs> you know, I never have in my life. I've never been accused of it in my life. Uh, nobody's ever accused me of pulling any weapon on them. And Bruce, Bruce knows that I would never do that. I, I never have. Um, I want to also, as a postscript, add that, you know, when I got to Lovelock, the state of California took up the issue of whose property it was. They did an investigation. And they came to the conclusion that it was my property. They turned it over to me. I have it now, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling uh, that um, um, they turned over to me property that I'm in jail for, for trying to retrieve. <laughs> you know, it's, it was my property. I wasn't there to steal from anybody. And I would never, ever pull a weapon on anybody. Three guys I was with, they all said they didn't see him do it.